Felters and welcome. It is the start of November. It's going to be a busy month. Um, I haven't even posted the last month's yet. That's going up later on today and I'm going to start recording already. So I'm going to try and record as much as possible as I can for you guys. Um, just to say something exciting has happened and we're in talks at the moment. I can't announce it yet. Hopefully I can tell you a bit later on in the vlog. But I have just finished doing another Highland Cow with the ice and fire that I use from World of Wool. Now this Highland Cow is a sitting Highland Cow and I do him as a PDF and um, it's very popular. I am thinking of doing a proper video on him, a, a full video tutorial to put on my um, needle felting courses and it's not going to be like really expensive because um, the PDF is about four or five pounds so I'd probably do it for just like a pound more or something it just makes it easier for you to see but just to note so this was a hundred gram bag and this is all I have left which is probably a you know about a sixth of it so you do need quite a lot of fluff I'll just show you him now so here he is um, he's never in the best of lights it never comes out but anyway just to sh sort of show you so that is the wool before it goes on and then when it goes on it sort of merges a bit more and becomes a lot more softer. So here he is, so that's the size of my hand so he's quite big but um, yeah I'm really pleased with him, he's come out really well. They always you know, do well at my craft fairs, they sort of sit at the top and um, people really like them. Right so it's the, um... oh it's bonfire night, it's the fifth tonight we're not going out or anything because we've got the puppies and my other dog Bella's not very good with fireworks we've got the in my in-laws are arriving for three days so I know I probably won't be able to do too much felting but I've just started oh, so lovely the um, humpback whale <laughs> Um, it's the 11th of November and uh, my craft fair is in, well that's scary, three days. It's Thursday and the craft fair is on Sunday so literally only a couple more days. So I've been doing the whale, um, which you'll have seen the tutorial by the time this comes out. And I'm really, 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 really enjoying the whale. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I wish I could sort of spend a little bit longer and but I'm not rushing it I am just taking my time and I am just accepting that I'm going to the craft fair with however many items I've got but yeah fantastic I will link the tutorial at the end because it's one of the best kits and I'm I, you know there's quite a few kits I've been doing lately I have cheated and um, bought some dryer balls which everybody seems to be using at the moment and I'm just going to make some easy, simple sheep with them. I'll list them below. They are really hard. So can you attach things to them? Yeah, I mean, this is a 42. I'll just try a bigger needle. Yeah, the bigger needles, the 38s, just don't really go in. So smaller needle and you will be able to hopefully attach stuff. But they're really sweet. You get a bag of four um for about nine pounds uk sort of money obviously um so i'm really happy with my mugs i've got several designs on my etsy shop now i'd rather be felting weekends are for felting uh things like that sort of uh, sayings to do with felting and um so i'm really pleased with the mugs and i'm really pleased with the company that do the canvas bags as well eat sleep felt repeat is so me at the moment hi felters it's the 13th, it's a Saturday, so I have craft fair tomorrow, as you will probably see, I think it's like deja vu, honestly, with these vlogs. Um, I haven't quite fulfilled my quota, oh my goodness, I am just rushing, I'm just getting some little baubles done, so I'm just using this blue-faced Lester, I'm just cutting off uh, some of the top of it. I'm going to do probably a tutorial on what to do with locks and how to cut them because like if you're brand new to it I've had quite a few people ask me to do it basically 
and some of the washing but that means I've got to have time to do the washing and things like that so um but yeah so I just cut some of these locks the uh, base of the locks have taken with a grey so it is a little bit annoying I cut some of that off um and then the rest of it just attaches really well so I'm just gonna hope you don't mind I'm just gonna felt whilst we're talking um I haven't got a tea I've just had a sip of wine actually because it's half five and we're having lasagna and when I cook lasagna I always like to have a little bit of red wine just a sip not much but anyway um so I had a video all planned for my channel for so I had basically my channel I like to get a video out every week the longest I've left it has been about 10 days um and I, I basically I'm very consistent on my channel and I think that's a good thing for YouTube. Um, I had this video all planned, uh, it was from a company and, I'm for, and, and I spent all week doing the video then I edited it and then basically something's happened and the company aren't, they're not there anymore and um, I can't use the video so my channel is going to go without a video for I think it's probably going to be two weeks. There's not much I can do about it because I've got the craft fair. Uh, I can't just magically create some quick video. Well, you know, there's there's one or two topics I want to do, but even that, it, it still takes me a bit of time, and then I've got to edit it. You're still talking at least a day. Um, so that's a shame, but that's life, isn't it? You just have to get on with it. Uh it's the end of the day um I've, i'm back home everything i didn't sell is unloaded and um yeah i'm just gonna go and have something to eat but i am tired it was a cold day um i mean it's november mid-november i didn't think it would be that cold but it's a lot colder in the barn just to sort of you know take more clothes than what you need um but yeah i am tired but i did really well 345 so I am really really pleased with that it's a really good amount but it's hard work it always is and it's soul destroying when you don't sell so it's it's amazing when you do um, to find a good place is really worth it worth keeping it so so here we are I'm just making a little sheep this is the one I started at the Christmas fair and I've been playing around with the mum's makery uh, templates and they're really cute so you probably will have seen the video on that by now and um, it's just really nice to sort of be freed up from having to do stuff just finished 
finishing this little sheep I was kind of gonna do a different effect but then I just ended up doing this and she looks quite cute and I've had this ball of wool I think you've seen me do another sheep it's still massive I've still got loads of it it's gonna last forever um so just finishing this sheep I'm so tired at the moment it's the weekend I slept really really well but I don't know about anyone else I honestly feel I could go back to bed and just sleep and sleep um yeah I think it's winter isn't it it's the general winter feeling we got a new duvet as well which I didn't know they did duvets like this because I always get cold and my husband's always baking hot um and you can buy a his and hers duvet and I bought one it's so fantastic so the duvet on my side is like we have it in togs in this UK, in the UK so it's 14.5 togs so it's really thick and then my husband's side is seven and um it's it's just perfect and i was so warm i normally have a hot water bottle i'm really really bad but this was just toasty and warm and god i think i can even you know put the heating down and stuff like that so i was really pleased and i've lit um my candle for the first time in ages i haven't lit a candle in this room for a long long time so i'm just trying to make it feel all cozy whilst i finish her just wanted to show you guys this that I ordered from one of my Patreon shops. I saw it and I couldn't believe it and I just adore it. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a felted cactus. So it's done with um, wet felting and dry felting and it's fantastic. It's the best plant because you don't have to water it. Let me show you this. It's even got, she's even felted the roots in. It is so beautiful. So it's from Lorraine and she's at Rainy Miscellany in Etsy. So there you go. I will link her down below. Go and have a look at her shop. This is so gorgeous. So thank you so much. I love it. Morning felters. So here we are. I'm just making two Highland cows for a friend. Um, like I said, I don't really do commissions, but this is just for a friend. So got to try and get those done as quickly as but look what arrived <laughs> look here he is Lennon 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 the llama I would call him Lenny Lenny the llama um so uh, trying to open the box really pleased with him so I've got a couple of regulars this is a carded dark fawn and then this is a light fawn so there's a slight difference I use those a lot for um, hooves and things. And I've got a ton of... Oh, they've just put it in a great big bag. That's a ton of the um, Cheviot Slithers I use for the legs. Um, I was trying to get a good grey fog. Let's have a look at this colour. There you go, you can see it. Fog is still quite patchy. Um, as we were discussing a while ago, it's quite tricky to get a really um, good grey. So it's a carded grey Corridale Slither. Yeah, it's quite consistent, a bit more consistent than that one. That's light and dark, and that's more dark. Then I've got my usual ice and fire. This is the peacock, which you've probably all seen. I really loved it last time. Then, whew, I have to put them over here, really. What colour is this? Under the sea, and it's got sparkle glitter in it. This is the colour of these cows that I'm going to be doing. Humpty Dumpty, but it's kind of a light, sort of lilac colour. Lynx, one of my all-time favourites. And this is the last one. Oh yeah, this is a new one. Taurus, which is a sort of purple mix. So that would be interesting to see how that comes out. So plenty of wool to keep me busy. And then I will do probably... Ooh, there's the shine. Len and so, the llama. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to do these two highland cows and then um, I kind of feel uh, no craft fair it's just starting to hit me that uh, like a weight has been lifted and I can come in almost and sort of just make what I want to make which is such a nice feeling um, I just want to make really good pieces now I want to work on my courses as you all know <laughs> I've said it about a million times 
but life doesn't allow you to do what you want a lot of the time especially if you're and it's not being selfish but if you're a mum you are devoted to um, spending a lot of time elsewhere and also the dogs um, and then there's the house and keeping on top of it all I don't have a cleaner I would love a cleaner that would be my ultimate goal <laughs> one day to have a cleaner and you know I've looked into it and they're not that much I just feel guilty about having one really I suppose but it's in time um yeah it's just a nice feeling I'm starting to feel a bit better not so tired or I can let myself be tired now without having to sort of work through Enjoying it getting a bit more relaxed around here so here we are some of the Christmas things are coming out um lit my candle oh my god we had oh I just I put my lights on well you can't see them very well let's go back one I put my lights on in my room I don't put them on that much I've got my Christmas tree so we're looking very cozy around here so we had the worst power cut this morning and so we had thunderstorms as well last night and Bella uh, my little white dog sleeps with my daughter and at half past one she hates thunder and at half past one she woke Emily up so Emily thought she wanted to go out so I would take her out in the garden and then she didn't sleep so I was up with her for a couple of hours and then at about half four uh, this morning we lost the power so it's and when we woke up it had snowed as well so it was really really cold so um anyway very tired but the power's back on it came on about 10 hours later but it did mean that I couldn't do my uh, zoom call that was um set up for this morning I think I could have logged on to zoom through my phone through 4G but I wouldn't have been able to stay on for very very long and then it would all be a bit weird so um, I had to cancel it and I will do it another time it's not a problem I'm sure it was okay but yeah just uh, four about three o'clock I think the heat I'm came back so on. pleased that we are warming up and um, but what we did do is put the Christmas stuff up so I'll get some shots of that in a bit um, and I was so tired I just didn't do any felting but yeah I'm going to carry on making some cows. two lovely ladies are finished just to give you a perspective on size so basically they're about nine inches high they're a lot higher than they should be for the brief but never mind um sorry that's the chair making funny noises so um they're for a friend so I'm, I'm sure she'll be all right with them being bigger <laughs> it's called value for money put it that way but yeah, I'm really pleased with them. And it's funny, you make things sometimes and you think, oh, I want to keep them. <laughs> but um, yes, I could remake them for myself, I suppose. It's very tricky to get the exact colour out, but it's sort of a purpley pink. It never comes out. Sorry, it's a bit early here. So the light's not too bright. So they're done. So there we go. That was November. Um, sorry, there's a man in the house. In a window over there. They must think I'm so weird sitting here talking to myself. But anyway, you know we've got houses behind us. We're waiting for the trees to grow up and get a bit a bit higher. Um, yeah, November was quite busy. Um, I've still got 
a fair bit for December, but as I said, I'm over the moon. I haven't got a craft fair, but um, I'm going to crack on with my courses. I've kind of done everything I have. I say that but it's not true because I've got set videos I've now got to do because I've started to get a bit more business like with this channel, really. So, um, yeah, so I've still got a lot of commitments and got to get those done. But yeah, that's it for November. So thanks for watching. I'm sorry if it was me talking too much and not enough felting but as I am going to be doing some more courses I'll be showing you snippets of those courses over the next few months. Thanks for watching everybody and have a really good month and just enjoy your felting. Take care, bye!